I'd like to think that people that like Parks and Rec will be so pleased and satisfied by this last season. And I also like to think that if someone turned the show on for the first time, they would understand and follow and enjoy the show as if it just kind of stood alone. Um, but we, we had a lot of fun knowing that we were going to do shorter episode, shorter amount of episodes. And when we left last season, we jumped three years ahead. So when you come back to Pawnee, some of the characters have changed. Some of them are doing different things and some of them aren't even speaking to each other. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> There's so many freaks coming back. Cause let's not forget Pawnee is filled with weirdos. We have so many great, hilarious guest stars that have come on this show and truly, truly funny people playing really bizarre characters. And I, I get it all the time, which is that people always believe that Pawnee is a real place and it's populated by all these <laughs> whack jobs. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of them come back. A lot of them come back over the season and it was fun to have everybody come back because a lot of times we knew it'd be the last time that we would see them. There are some excellent faces that you'll be surprised to see this season. I don't think I can give anyone, any, any away, but some really humdingers that, uh, that, you know, what's really fun about the show is our celebrity cameos were never like out of place for Pawnee. It wasn't like, look who showed up. Um, with the exception of perhaps the first lady. That was an example of where Leslie was truly overwhelmed by meeting her. Um, and, and, and Vice President Joe Biden. <laughs> Those two perhaps didn't live in Pawnee's world, but we always try to make everybody else kind of feel like it would in, in some way be plausible for them to intersect and connect in Leslie's world. Well, I think the fans can expect really big changes, um, lots of fun group scenes, um, a real celebration of what makes the characters great, like just really fun, goofy, big comedy, a lot of returning characters that you've liked maybe throughout the past couple years. Uh, what else can, can I, um, we solve a murder every episode, that's new. Um, we take every episode down for season seven is like 15 to 20 minutes of like going over a dead body, taking pictures, writing things down in notebooks, and then the last three to four minutes are comedy. But it's basically, Parks and Rec is basically just like a very dry kind of CSI procedural now. And then the tag is something really funny. Season four was about ghosts. Season five was about explosions. Six was just about like raw sex, nonstop sex. Season seven, dead bodies. That's Parks for you. That's what you think of when you think of Parks and Rec. You think of dead bodies, ghosts, and sex. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about this season. There's a real fun arc to pay attention to. And this season will start in a way that will make it feel kind of like unmoored. You know, when we come back to Parks and Rec, a lot has changed. And so hang in there if you're feeling like there's too many different things, because guess what? So do the characters in the show. And in the same way that our viewers may look and realize things have changed and people's offices are different and people are in different positions. Just rest assured that Pawnee always brings people back together and nobody ever leaves, like the mafia. <laughs> this show is like the mafia and you can't escape it. It will always find you. To be in any way in control or in front of your ending in television is a real privilege. It doesn't happen all the time and we've all had experiences where it hasn't happened in the way we've wanted it to. And the best part is that we all get to participate in this end because I think we really care about the characters and the people that watch the show really care about them too. And so to be able to give them a, a proper fitting and tender goodbye is a big deal and, and one that we don't take for granted. So it's been really great to be able to control that somehow in a, in a business that's very, um, as you know, crazy.